Hello, all my kings and queens. Are you guys ready for today's affirmation? Okay, repeat after me. I am the head. I am not the tail. I am above. I am not beneath. I am a queen. If you're a boy, you are a king. I am so excited about all the lessons that we learned from our Bible story. Remember, week one, we learned that Jesus is the light of the world. Week two, we learned that we should follow God's commandments and not just man's. Week three, we learned that obedience and faith need to work together. Can't wait to see what's next. Wow, all of the lessons that we learned just from one story. You know, the one story we've been working on all month long, how Jesus healed the man born blind. What a miraculous miracle he performed. And it came from the book of John, chapter nine, verses one through 41. I'm so excited to be telling you the story today. Are you ready to see the story? I mean, the whole story? All right, here we go. Yo, this is Jesus, AKA King of Kings, AKA Lord of Lords, AKA Prince of Peace. You get it. As Jesus and his disciples were walking along, they saw a man who was born blind. When the disciples saw this blind man begging in the street, they said, Jesus, whose fault is it that this man is blind? Jesus said, it is not this man's fault. He was born blind so that God's power could be shown in him. As long as it is day, we must do the works of him who sent me. Night is coming when no one can work. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. After saying this, Jesus spit on the ground and made some mud. He rubbed it on the blind man's eyes. The blind man was like, this is weird, feels very strange. Then Jesus said to the man, go wash your eyes in the pool of Siloam. This word means sent. The man trusted Jesus, so he went to the pool and washed his face. After he washed his face, he could see. He said, I was blind, but now I see. He could see for the very first time in his life. He walked home looking at everything around him. When his friends and neighbors saw him, they didn't think this was the same person. The man told everyone that Jesus healed him. Jesus said to the blind man, do you believe in the Son of Man? The blind man said, Who is he, sir? Tell me so that I may believe in him. Jesus said, You have now seen him. In fact, he is the one speaking with you. Then the man said, Lord, I believe. And he worshipped him. After Jesus healed the blind man, the man who was once blind went and told everyone. The people brought him to the Pharisees. Now, the day on which Jesus healed the man was a Sabbath. And that was to them a no-no. So the Pharisees asked, Who healed you? The man said, Jesus put mud on my eyes, and I washed, and now I see. Some of the Pharisees said, 
He's a fake. He does not keep the Sabbath. But others asked, how can a sinner perform such signs? So they were divided. Then they turned again to the blind man. What have you to say about him? It was your eyes he opened. The man replied, he is a prophet. They still did not believe that he had been blind and had received his sight until they sent for the man's parents. Is this your son? They asked. Is this the one you say was born blind? How is it that now he can see? We know he is our son, the parents answered, and we know he was born blind. But how can he see now? Or who opened his eyes? We don't know. Ask him. He is of age. He will speak for himself. His parents said this because they were afraid of the Jewish leaders, who already had decided that anyone who acknowledged that Jesus was the Messiah would be put out of the synagogue. That was why his parents said, He is of age. Ask him. A second time, they summoned the man who had been blind. Give glory to God by telling the truth, they said. We know this man is a sinner. He replied, Whether he is a sinner or not, I don't know. One thing I do know, I was blind. But now, I see. The man born blind could now see, but the religious leaders were still in disbelief. They said, What did he do to you? How did he open your eyes? The man said, I've told you over and over, and you haven't listened. Why do you want to hear it again? Are you so eager to become his disciples? Oh boy, the religious leaders were angry now. They jumped all over him. You might be a disciple of that man, but we're disciples of Moses. We know for sure that God spoke to Moses. But we have no idea where this man even comes from. The man replied, This is amazing. You claim to know nothing about him, but the fact is, he opened my eyes. It's well known that God isn't the beck and call of sinners, but listens carefully to anyone who lives in reverence and does his will. That someone opened the eyes of a man born blind, and that has never been heard of, ever. If this man didn't come from God, he wouldn't have been able to do anything. The religious leaders said, You're nothing but dirt. How dare you take that tone with us? Then they threw him out in the street. Jesus heard that they had thrown him out and went and found him. He asked him, Do you believe in the Son of Man? The man said, Point him out to me, sir, so that I can believe in him. Jesus said, You're looking right at him. Don't you recognize my voice? Master, I believe, the man said, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said, I came into the world to bring everything into the clear light of day, to lift the spiritual blindness of this world, those who don't believe in me are blind. Those who do see God. Some Pharisees overheard him and said, Does that mean you're calling us blind? Jesus said, If you were really blind, you would be blameless. But since you claim to see everything so well, you're accountable for every fault and failure. Do you believe? Whoa! Wasn't that a great story? Oh, we learned so much this month. 
from that man who was born blind and how Jesus healed him physically and spiritually. And he healed other people's spiritual blindness as well all around him. It's so awesome how we learned about Jesus being the light of the world, how we learned that we shouldn't follow man's commandments, but God's, and how we learned that obedience and faith working together will be the key to help you to live a life with Jesus forever. Oh my gosh, it was so amazing. So today, what we're going to see is something that can happen only before your very eyes. You gotta keep your eyes right on this experiment because today we're going to grow a black sugar snake right in our laboratory. And a black sugar snake looks just like Miss Latrice's twist. That's right, the twist will grow right in front of your eyes and they'll come this way and they'll come that way. It's the coolest thing ever. And I'm so excited that you get to see it in the laboratory today. I can't wait. All you gotta do is go get your Promax. You got your Promax? If you don't have your Promax, you can head over to gospelology.com and figure out how you make these, okay? Get them on because you need them to go into laboratory with Promac. I can't wait to see you inside. You guys have an amazing day and enjoy our science lesson. Gospelology, Gospelology.